So everybody keeps going on about these Nintendo Minis and Super Nintendo Classic Minis and the presumably soon to be released Sega Mega Drive or Sega Genesis, whichever one you like best. I just think it's all a bit gobbledygook because you mean you've got to plug it into your telly and maybe you've got to even, you know, switch it on and maybe even pick a game to play. And there's not that many games on them, there's only about 30. Who? We need more! And so, I have received a gift. The Retro Pocket... Oh, sorry. Th hang on. Retro Pocket Games. On that. With LCD screen. That's good. Um, oh, by the way, I'm using a different camera this time. Hope it's better. Yes, LCD screen. We've got the old Namco font there. Um, it's got a bit of an 80s retro style packaging. I'm not sure if it's accurate to the 80s because I wasn't around then, but judging by everything that is faux 80s, faux 80s, or retro wave, stuff like that, it's probably quite accurate. It's from Orb Gaming, which is, you know, done a quite a good job with that little ligature there. That's good. I can't, I can't afford to be so quiet when this mic's not very good at picking up my voice unless I shout. It includes over 100 8-bit games. 8-bit specifically, that's... We'll get onto that. And the actual device itself looks like a, a Famicom controller, not a Super Famicom controller, they just look like SNES controllers. This looks like a Famicom controller, which is a nice touch. And it says Game Controller on it, despite the fact that it is indeed the whole console. We will look at that properly when we get it out of the box. We've also got the Transformers style grid thing. What's on the back? Retro Pocket Games with LCD screen. Screenshots. Hmm. Noticing a... Well, let's just say it's not 8-bit. That is clearly more colours than there was capable on an 8-bit system, even the master system that was capable of many, many colours. Well, I don't know, maybe. Hmm. Conveniently play your favourite retro games wherever you go. Ooh, can I play Doom 2 on it? Probably can, actually. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised. Includes over 108 bit games to choose from. 1.8 inch LCD screen, three AAA batteries required, not included. Cheeky monkeys. And the same again in various different languages. A thumbs up brand. Bing. Oh, bing. Every time I try and do a thumbs up on video, it never catches the thumb. Um, normally because I'm quite significantly zoomed in, so it's hard to judge where my hand is going to end up when it's on the uh, old camera there. What else we got? E and OE images and illustrations may differ from actual product, eh? E, e and OE images. What does that mean? What's an E and OE? Uh, Arb is trademark thumbs up. E, yes, I'm, I don't think I need to make that joke. There's somebody else who makes just the same joke, and I'm, I'm sure, yeah, let's, let's just move on. Small parts, not for children under three years. Does that mean, like, physically under the concept of the th like three physical years how does that work or that's a wide barcode hmm. uh, made in china who is surprised and we've got a load of logos that probably mean things like recycling and certificate of ethnicity or whatever uh, there was one other thing i was going to look at oh yeah the fact that their their url does not say thumbs up .co thumbsup.co.uk rather it's thumbsupuk.com which is a bit bizarre um, and oh yeah I was just going to mention as well they've not um, put any colour on this presumably they've used this box if they say contents may vary from illustrations then it might be that this little unit um, comes in a variety of different colours and I got it, maybe it doesn't I might be I'm purely speculating here but yeah it might be the case that I've just got a particularly nice colourway. So, I've done the honours and torn the box asunder ahead of time because who wants to watch me slit open one of these awkward packages with a knife? I certainly don't. Yeah, and I'm going to have to because I've got to edit this video, yet. Yeah? So, here is the device itself. In fact, I've got nothing to compare it to. Bear with me. Hey, here we go. This is the closest thing I have. Um, I would have compared it to a Game Boy Micro if I had one, but I don't. I do, however, have this original Game Boy Advance, which I've torn the sticker off from. Oh, yes, I've had this for many, many years. Um, anyway, it's one of the few original items I own in my collection, actually, which is a bit of a shame, but whatever. Can't change it now. Look. 
it's, it nearly fits in between the controls of the GBA. That's ridiculous. And the screen's like a third of the size. That's insane. Let's just put them side by side there. There you go. It also sort of looks like the bottom of a DS, doesn't it? Come to think of it, just with fewer buttons. Right, let's move that out of the way. What does it actually feel like? Well, the buttons are rubbery. I'm disappointed because uh, it would have been nice to have sort of clickier buttons. Like I know these things tend to be capable of. I have a, I have had um, I've come in contact with I've come into contact with stuff like this, and it's kind of been a bit clickier, like it would go. But this one's just like a cheap remote control from a blinking Toshiba VCR or something. Not that I'm speaking from experience or anything. D-pad is kind of naff. Like, non oh, let's just uh, bring back the GBA there. This is a good D-pad. You can sort of rock between the different directions quite quickly and swiftly. Um, not that, well, there was a version of Street Fighter 2, wasn't there? And it'd probably be quite good for pulling off a Hadouken or whatever. Uh, this one, not so much, because your thumb sort of gets stuck on the rubberiness. Yeah, it is quite rubbery, you can't really tell on video, but you'll have to take my word for it. We've got these three buttons here, presumably one of them resets the system, one of them turns the volume, well, probably mutes it actually, come to think of it, and one of them plays and pauses? Huh. Yeah, I guess that will be useful. This is your on and off switch, obviously not going to do anything because there are no batteries included. And there's not really a whole lot else to see, there's a little spot there for your wrist strap or lanyard, as they are now. And yeah, we've got the old uh, him again. He looks slightly different. Uh, there's that or retarkkl again. Um, now, I came prepared because we need to open this boy up to get the uh, batteries in, which was a pretty poor design, I think. Because how many people are going to have this particular Wilco screwdriver to open up their little games console with? You see, the put sort of people who buy this um, and not get it as a joke for their video game loving relative. Um, they're not going to be into video games, are they really? They're just going to want something that, oh, they have a quick go at for 15 minutes and then put in a drawer or whatever. Which is probably what I'm going to do, to be fair. Um, so they're not going to have a tiny little screwdriver, that's my point. Uh, look, we've got a lanyard free. Uh, don't need that. That's where we put our AAA batteries. Let me just get some in there. In we go. Eh. Ooh. Ooh. And back goes. Oh, I put it on upside down. Well done. Oh, I've got to put this screw back in now. I took apart a PS2. I'm sure it's not above me to put this silly old screw back in. Eh. And I had to take apart the PS2 more so than I uh, planned to because I managed to unseat a ribbon cable that was underneath everything. Anyway, I believe it's time to turn this sucker on. Let's see if it works. <laughs> okay, I've seen this sort of thing before. Retro game. Uh, are we going to go through all of them? I'm going to have to get into a more comfortable position if we're going to play every single game on here. Maybe that's going to be a separate video, I'm not sure. Let's just see what we've got. We got matchdog men and matchdog cats and dogs. Tank war, say cross, say cross, see cross. Oh, that's pretty straightforward. Football, gang tie three. Was right. If there's no gang tie one and two on here, I'm going to be very disappointed. So far, none of my favourite games have been on here. The agent, Pai Wang. Is that Shadow Warrior? Huh. Racing car, CS Fire. What's that? Um. Presumably Counter-Strike or something similar. I'm sorry that it's wobbling about so much, by the way. Uh, Dinosaur War. A, f a flame plant? I mean, I guess. <laughs> I was going to say not just any flame plant, but it is literally just any flame plant. It's just, it's just a flame plant, isn't it? It's just a flame plant. Just chill out. It's just a flame plant. Parachute. Star Battle. Honey Mary. I think I have an idea of what that's going to be. Um, yeah, see if you can guess. In fact, we shall um, play that in a bit and uh, see if I'm right. I'm guessing Mario clone. There you go. Gemstone, that's going to be bejeweled, isn't it? Apache Overkill? What? <laughs> that's where you have to make a million web servers on one Raspberry Pi. Oh, no, that's, maybe that's Pi Wang. Where to go? I don't know. You ask me. 
sorry, you tell me. Uh, Raiden, or Raiden, is that about the fighter or about the shooter? Who knows? Domain, oh, there's, there's a lot of web design based games in this, isn't there? Couple Plants, is that the sequel to a flame plant? Good grief, there's some titles in here, let me tell you. Flying Bullet, just the one. Um, is that that Halo 3 game type with the zombies? Who knows? Give me water. Is that like where's my water? Snowball, disappear boxes. <laughs> okay. Catch chicken. Birds bomb, fruit secure, racing motor. Is that different to racing car? I guess not. Beware cross. Yes. This music, man. I suspect you can't hear it that well, actually, since the microphone's like a million miles away from it. Um, I will attempt to record some decent footage of it. Maybe put it in the background for you. What a kind man I am. Sea Wolf, that makes sense. Eliminate, that is very vague. Colour Stone, Link Link. Uh, I'm not, I'm uh, disappear birds this time, wow. Hunger Frog, Re receive eggs. Re receive eggs. Receive eggs. Receive eggs. <laughs> Connect four, right, that, that, one, that one I can do. Run, oh, 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 you can go between pages with left and right. That's useful to know. Connect for running cool, mutative maze. That is a circuitous word to use. Tupa. Tupa. Very good. Wars of Islands. Uh, tank attack. Rocket Man! Demon Warrior. Archer Wars. Colony War. Color Impress. Quick Master. Monkey Running Impossible. Oh, well, we're going to get far in that, aren't we? Twin shot, hurdle, bomb sweeper, cubic tower, air raid warden. Wow, that sounds exciting. What do you have to do? Just spin this thing around to uh, get the klaxon to sound. To bleh, whatever the word is. Sound, that's the word I'm looking for. Air fight, frog jump. That's going to be frogger, isn't it? Hammer chicken. I can't even guess what half these are. That's going to be angry birds. Gem puzzle. Wow. Hang on. We've had a gem thing before. So we're gonna, are we going to have two ver different versions of Bejeweled? The wall. Is that going to be the Pink Floyd album? Porter, that sounds boring. Find this, oh, that's got Frog Jump 2 as well. Hmm, Greedy Snake, Chain Reaction. Is that going to be Atomica? Wow. Imagine that. If that is Atomica, I'm going to be very impressed. Probably nobody watching knows what Atomica is. If you do, I will also be very impressed. Beer Waitress, that's going to be Tapper or something, isn't it? Shoot Balls, I'd rather not. Block, block Saws, now, now we're talking. This is a Flash game, isn't it? By the way, I'm also very impressed at how this camera is able to focus on this so crisply. Uh, number taxis, sure, that sounds extremely tedious. Sweet mine, <laughs> I wonder what that is. Probably uh, solitaire, come to think of it. Beat pig, oh, that's, mm. beat. now, is that gonna be beat as in music or beat as in a whack? Uh, NS tower, what's NS stand for? Lucky box, air intercept, come on, I win it. Receive fruit, is that like receive eggs, but Oh, D story bricks now. Nah, yeah, okay, I get ya. Poker game, <laughs> good, good. Shoot monster, gladly. Wing dream flying. Br I get the feeling there's five games in here, and they're all just elevator. Okay, <laughs> that one we're definitely checking out. <laughs> wow. Apples Jack, Rabbit Roundup, Balloon War, Resource War. So many wars. Where's the peace games? Well, Rabbit Roundup, I guess. That sounds like an actual game. It could be a pop cap game, couldn't it? Outline. Find bombs, magic pick. I thought I said magic pie for a second. The uh, Oasis song. S Seriation. No, uh, that's not a word. Got Circus Charlie. They can't just use real names in this thing. It's cheating. Uh, tank Attack 2. Eat, eat, eat ting balls. Greedy, ja <laughs> Greedy Jerry. <laughs> Greedy Jerry. Kill zombies. Falcon Man. Are there more than 100? Whoa. Robot Roundup, Flying Bullet 2, <laughs> No. I know I made a joke about all the games being the same, but come on. Don't give me fuel for that. Another war, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, 
This game gets an 11 out of 10. Okay. Shoot a hexapod, brightstone. The, oh, I thought that said the FT punk, but no, it's theft punk. Settle puzzle, same animals, come on. Eliminate two, we actually have some sequels here. Slalom, bird week, bird week, what? The same birds go to the bird week and have a fun pair with the Talawa. We've had monkey jump before, I'm pretty sure. Receive gift, talk so filly. My God, there are so many games, receive apples. I thought we had received fruit earlier, fruit night. 2048, there's an actual game. Oh, good grief. Free me, please do. Oh my goodness. So There are actually too many games on here. I'm just gonna skip duck. Is that duck game? Eating worms. Oh, there we go. Bear versus bald? Oh God, right. Let's try bear versus bald. How do I do that? That's a good question. I have to say the screen is actually quite bright and clear. It's a nice little screen. Maybe it'll be hackable. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, what the hell is this? Oh, it's Mario Brothers. Look at that power block. Yeah, oh. DOS font. Oh, well, that was a good start. Eh. Oh my God, the physics and the camera. Oh, geez. Well, I don't see any bald unless... Oh, no, that is bald. That guy is actually bald. The, the, the background's green and up to the naked eye. It looks quite blue on the camcorder. Maybe I can do a bit of colour correction. I'm not very good at it, though. I'll just warn you of that. Well, that's Mario Brothers. It's, uh Yeah. Whew. Let's try a few more games. Maybe I'll do, like I said, another video where... Oh, it goes back to number one. Maybe I'll do another video where I go through each and every one. Maybe. If you ask politely, I might do. Uh, let's let's try Piwang. I do want to know what Piwang is. I have to look around to see where the button is, by the way. It's just it's the one at the bottom, I think. Yeah, there we go. Piwang. Ooh, under some wang. What? 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, Nelly. Okay, good. But, oh, he, oh, oh, wow, he actually, okay. If, a what? What the hell? This... So this is like Cannibal meets Abe's Exodus. You actually physically fart. I don't know what the balloon does. What is the deal with this pan? Where am I? Oh, whoa, 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 Nelly. Okay. I think we've seen enough of that. Thank you very much. Let's try a couple more. Uh, I do want to see if racing car and racing motor are the same thing. I'm guessing they are. Oh, it's Spy Hunter. Okay. Wait. Oh, wow. It's the world's slowest countdown. Alright. Gladly. Oh, no. What's that noise? Jeez. Oh, okay. So it's not a Spy Hunter. It's significantly more basic than that. You don't get... Wow, what is that road? Good grief. That guy didn't even indicate. Come on. Read your damn highway code. Well, gee, this is the most boring game I've ever played. Are these RPG Maker assets? I'm pretty sure they are, you know. Apart from the car, obviously, but... That was just... Crap. <laughs> it was sloppy as kick. Okay, where was Racing Moto? Oh, well, let's do Racing Moto first. There it is. It's going to be the same thing. Is it? It is literally the same thing. We don't have to play it again. It's fine. Although that bike was gigantic if you compare it to the car. Hmm. Uh, okay, let's do Honey Mary. Is it going to be Mario? No, it's not. It's... I don't know what it is. What is it? What actually is this game? What am I playing here? Oh, oh my god, it's a Game & Watch game. Okay. A Game & Watch game that I have no understanding of because I just literally fell off instantly and started bleeding out of my head. That is not a good good way to go. So what am I supposed to do? Uh, I can pull the lever to open, open the thing. Why did he fall off? Why didn't he land on the other platform? You know what? I don't care enough to uh, keep playing. What else we got? Uh, I do want to know what a flame plant is. Oh, it's 
Oh, right, I see. <laughs> no, still calling it a flame plant. It's just one plant. Just one flame plant. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, what's what's the deal here then? Huh? Do I have any control over what happens here? Short answer, no. Long answer, no. Let's uh, pass on that one. I cannot. Oh, just nudge the mic. Well done. Which one? Let's try disappear boxes then. Go on. Those are some happy boxes. Is this going to be balloons? What the hell? I believe I need to reset. What the hell is this game? Well done. Good. That was just flipping. I bet that's popular in some Linux distro. <laughs> It'll be one of them games that's bundled as part of Linux in one of the many uh, ancient distros there are. Right, what else we got? Uh, I would like to know if... Well, yeah, I said I'd play... Um, okay, impossible, that's a challenge, we're trying that. Oh my god. What's the deal here, is it platformer? Oh, where am I? Oh, I'm at the top, okay. I thought it was the blue ball at the bottom. Oh yeah. So impossible. It's like ball revamped, but tedious. Look at the reflection on the left side of the screen there, that's brilliant. Like I said, it, oh, really? Really? Come on, look at that, look at that. Jeez. Of course it's impossible if your rules are all wonky and janky and rinky and dinky. What else we got? Ugh. I mean, you, you could literally spend all day playing this. Uh, the wall, I think I know what that is. It's just going to be a crappy breakout, isn't it? Uh, buh, 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 buh. I did say I was going to try... Elevator action, there it is. Bam. Oh my god, it is literally elevator action. I was not expecting that. How similar is it going to be, though? I must admit I've not played much elevator action, but... It's a bit like Rolling Thunder, isn't it? I've played that quite a lot. Well, the music's not as good, I'll give you that much. Because the actual music sounds like an elevator. Oh, wow, the sound effects. Oh, my God, they're set on fire as soon as the... Have I got incendiary ammo or something? What is this, Payday 2? I have to admit, I never really understood the point of elevator action. It seems like you go down the elevator and not a whole lot happens and there's not really... Like, well, this is the easiest thing ever because they all fire predictably. Like, they walk up to the furthest point, then they fire, and then they duck. So, it, uh, it's a, it's a, is there much point to these? I did get inside one before by pressing down, but now it doesn't seem to want to let me. Jeez. Okay, this is. <laughs> Again, this is like elevator action, but for people with no imagination. Okay, well, I can't get through that door. This guy is stuck in purgatory. Next game. This video's gone on for 25 minutes thus far. Are you still watching? Don't, don't, don't. Stay, please. Um, next game. Uh, my feet are getting sore. Uh, what is the next game going to be? I want to try Rabbit Roundup because it actually sounds like a game. I do not want to try and rabbit round up, it looks tedious. Let's go backwards, because I think, yeah, that'd be actually closer, won't it, at this point. Let's go on then, eating worms, it's going to be snake. Yeah, no, maybe? We'll soon see. Presumably the goal is to, whoa, dude! What the hell is going on here? Okay, so you can't change direction until you've hit a wall. I recognise this music. What's this from? Is this from Dig Dug? 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Dig Dug music. <laughs> well, that's nice to hear. And then presumably I go... Oh, no. That's it. Can't be asked with that one anymore. Okay, let's try a couple more. Boldly Egg. Right, I've got to try it. Oh, I think I've seen this game before. I've heard this music somewhere as well. What? What am I supposed to do here? Can't move. Both buttons do the same thing. This is a durable egg. More durable than the uh, light bulb that I just smashed anyway. Don't tell anyone. Especially not my dad. Oh, right. Oh, jeez. It would take forever to play this damn game. Good lord. Good grief. I am not... Who? Just who? This is like... This is like... An old game I played on my phone called Abduction. Which is very similar to Doodle Jump. <sighs> Thing is, it's crap. <laughs> It's like abduction. I just, uh, it's abduction for people with no skill. Okay, one more game. Free me. Oh no, let's do 2048 because that's an actual good game. Give me some numbers. Although, to be fair, I could actually play this game all night. Oh, except I couldn't because it's extremely slow and tedious. Great. Ugh. Easily the worst ever version of 2048. Apart from that one made in Scratch. Probably there's one made in Scratch and it's quite bad. But there's a reason for that. Ugh, okay. Well, let's do the first one in the list then. Matchstick. Ma oh, wow, it's Xiao Xiao. I nearly said Xiao Xiao then. <laughs> oh, my God. God. Red or black? Let's be red. We are the chosen one. <gasps> Who gets that reference? Okay, well I made... Oh my god, it is literally ripped from... Oh, chuff me. It is actually Xiao Xiao animations. I am getting my ass kicked. How is he doing all these special moves? Come on. Oh, oh no. That wasn't me doing a special move. That was me getting my ass handed to me again. This this control pad does not have the capacity to do anything. I'm just gonna keep flailing my. Oh no. Well, that was that was good. Is this uh, is this animated with pivot? I wonder. Is that a giant stickman in the background with really long arms? I don't think it. Is it like Tekken maybe? You know what? I don't think I'm gonna get anywhere in this. Okay, one more game. I know I said one more game last time, but literally, really, honestly, one more game. I think Leeds have just won, so let's play footy. Oh, it's just penalty shootouts. Chelsea versus Arsenal, is that? Or Man City versus Man U? There's a nail in the pitch. So, I'm a tiny man. This music, man. Oh god, what's this music from? Oh. oh god. Somebody in the comments please tell me what this music's from. Cause I can't I can't place it. Anyway, this is a really bad football game. Why can I move from left to right, but How are you supposed to score? Well, I think we should uh, leave that there. That was the, what was it called? The Retro Pocket Games. In fact, it says on it. No, it doesn't. It says Retro Arcade on it. Fantastic. That was the Retro Arcade, everybody. A small and cheap little device. <sighs> I'm going to go to bed. But wait, before we go anywhere, we must see what's inside, so 
first take the batteries out because I don't want to electrically shock myself with the power of three triple A's. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe not. Uh, let's just yank those. I'm not having any product placement on this channel. Although they do look quite distinctive and they're very well branded, so you know. Can't really get out of that one. So I've got to try and do this with the viewfinder now. You're going to see nothing but my hairy wrist for about two minutes. Hope you like it. That's two down. I can't remember which ones I took out now. And there's three. They're a bit dusty, aren't they? Oh, they're just bringing the plastic with them. Mm, yeah, it's not going to focus. Oh, no, it does focus on it. Wow. This camera is surprisingly good, if a little fuzzy. And where was the fire? Ah, yes, it's there. I was right. Ugh. Right. That was surprisingly easy. Let's get it open. Oh, <laughs> everything's connected. Oh, God. Oh, God, what fell out then? It was the... Oh, come on, focus. It was that. That thing that turns it on and off. We can reseat that. It's fine. It's actually just a little switch there, look. Switch that probably feels nicer... <clears throat> like that than it does with the, with the little shroud over it. Uh, so we've got our little speaker there, which is presumably glued in. Uh, that's the power going to the screen. There is another little screw there. Let's unscrew that. Mm. Let's get that on camera as well. I suspect that this is a generic thing because I have seen this before on other different channels. Um, well, this style of game thing, not this particular model. Oh, there's another screw. Uh, no, we've got to go the whole hog now. If I can get my screwdriver in there, that is. Oh. Yeah, I have seen this, this sort of thing on other channels. None this extensive. I've not seen any with 150 odd games on it, but I suspect that's them just trying to, you know, make the best of the thing that they have. So there's our, <coughs> pardon me, there's our screen, look. That's where it connects to the PCB. <coughs> and the actual chip, they've uh, put this black rubber over it, which I don't have the facilities to get off. But really, are they that scared? What, what are they so bothered about exactly? Well, I do wonder if you could plumb that screen into a Pi Zero or something and use it as a little display. That would be useful. I might uh, might just have to do that and see if I can get it get it to function, fly, whatever. But that is the inside of that little machine, um, and that's about it, really. <laughs>